What's up? I'm Grace. Welcome. Episode six of Hyoko. We finished our arc last week and Chitando found the meaning of life or I mean the, uh, you know, the meaning <laughs> to what she was trying to figure out. The situation and stuff that happened in her past all seems to kind of go over pretty well from there. I assume we move into something new here and we got a whole new mystery probably to solve and I'm excited to see where we go. If you like it all, the like and subscribe to me and a lot to me, feel free to stick around for the discussion. Please leave any comments about this episode or series though. Let's get going. Episode six. Brad does not want to be here right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no way he wants to be careful. Ah. Oh. Oh. Someone getting beat. <laughs> oh, he's just yelling at them. Oh, Chitanda's claws. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no. Bro, go protect your woman, please. Damn, bro, we gotta get some thicker walls in this thing. Oh, she mad. This more about the anthology. <laughs> oh, tried so hard. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> calm the fuck down, please. Jesus. It's not that serious. Settle down. <laughs> Dude, not the time. Yeah. Mm. We need new experiences. Now we have to attempt to get everybody angry. Oh. <laughs> Everybody gets angry. But everybody expresses it and have different breaking points, you know? Right. Right, right, right. Different, different ways of going about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was feeling it happening here. She wants to see you angry, I think, more so. Damn. That's fine. He was angry last episode. Or no, I guess he wasn't angry. He was more like emotional in a way. Yeah. Yeah, her breaking point's a little, a little lower than everybody else. She can't tolerate as much. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're not gonna go down this route, are we? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's only four. Yep. Can hear somebody say? Sloth in Japanese without thinking of uh Buddy from ReZero. <laughs> Just say it over and over. <笑>ね。あの、それにその一致でもないし。だから嫉妬するかどうかは資料もないけどさ。もはやこの2人褒めてるというより完璧からかってる。いや。もうやめましょう。それに私の誘いがお腹が空いたら余計です。当たり前。
You're gonna look at it that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point. Then there would be a problem. Sure. <laughs> she just did. Right. Uh, he's like, I just fell in love again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're like doing the same no <laughs> it's like such an obscure thing that nobody else cares for okay thank you for bringing this up totally long enough it didn't sound like she got mad though. More so the teacher. Mm. It's like shit, I got her again. Ah. <laughs> the cutest thing ever, but there's enough of them, it's terrifying. <laughs> I'll be going now. He heard you the first time. <laughs> you can't get away, dude. Ah. <laughs> you didn't sound like you were angry, though. Okay. <laughs> no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. Ew. <laughs> and class A is tough out here. Okay. Ah. And then the teacher got mad about it. Even though he never took responsibility and did anything himself, so she stood up for him. Or somebody else didn't get it either. And then she was like, dude, you should probably teach us first. Mm -hmm. So getting angry at others for your own mistakes in a way. <laughs> Such a disturbing visual representation of us. Realized you made a mistake and then we kept going, yeah. So at what point did you get angry? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what was weird about it? Sounds pretty... I mean, it can happen. Literally a variety of reasons. It doesn't really matter either, he just kind of did it. Yeah, ask him. Yeah. Because <laughs> you help all the time. She's getting so close. <laughs> oh my god. Shift the focus. Ah. Oh my god. What is up with her? 
<laughs> this seems so pointless. It's literally so pointless. It literally could just be things as simple as he has an exterior issue that happened and his head was all over the place. So he wasn't as focused on what he was supposed to be doing this day. He could have accidentally had multiple things planned out for future days and misread which day it was. So he thought it was something else and started teaching something else. You know, there's, there's plenty of things. He apologized afterwards, realized he made a mistake. We move on, right? Mm -hmm. Perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Don't embarrass him, please. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, see, this is more interesting. I would have just assumed it was simply because she was mad that he was kind of lashing out on others for his own mistake. But she says that's not the case, so then I am curious why. Yeah, I can, and you're trying so hard to understand somebody else. Sure. Right, which does seem weird, I guess, but... Right, right. So maybe another one has. And he accidentally just read off the wrong one. So maybe on this day last year, they were on that part, and he accidentally didn't take it out. Uh... Mm. <laughs> He's like, bro, please stop saying that. <laughs> He's like, I would never want to go up there and have to do it. Yeah. So you just probably wrote the wrong class or read off the wrong one. It doesn't sound too complicated right now, guys. Come on. Mm -hmm. Odd on so far, brother. Mm -hmm. And he mistaken the class that he was going into doing this. Or he just read off the wrong one. This is four ranges of errors that we can make. Yeah, there are three others. Mm -hmm. Well, because of the way that the letters are arranged. I don't know if you just wrote them in lowercase. Okay. I was gonna say D and B would be more similar, but alright. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh. No. No. You weren't. You weren't. You were not. Please don't say that. He started yelling at others. You stuck up for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I cannot let you get started again. <laughs> be your all damn night. Mm, no. And most people don't. Mm -hmm. Not that others triggered that in a way. She did it on her own. Bearing that responsibility in a sense. Yeah. You don't know anything, that's the point. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> You're awfully close. <laughs> mm. 
You're always asking, so I just return the favor. <laughs> you don't mean that, buddy. We'll continue our journey to understand Chitanda. <laughs> the curiosity of Chitanda has kind of gotten the most of her here. And she continues to want more, which kind of is infectious in a way, as it makes Eureka kind of be like curious about her in ways and kind of realizing maybe he doesn't understand her as much as he thought he did uh even though he already didn't think that he did to begin with but understanding the fact that he really doesn't think he can understand her or even begin to or he shouldn't even start trying to something along those lines i thought it was really cool how he came to that conclusion overall by the end of understanding he has one too many sins already <laughs> With his uh, sloth that if he focuses too much on his own pride of trying to to uncover her a little bit more and understand her and be able to to read into who she is as a person, you know, it might cause issues for him or he might start coming out of his own element away uh, and not be who he truly is in a way. Uh, interesting to kind of at least keep that in mind. For the most part, the episode was very simplistic, straightforward. I mean, it gave us the things I like most, though. Uh, so I will say that of us having a mystery that is like beyond like boring or like stupid to solve like no person would really care about something like this that much except for Chitanda. so like it feeds into it makes sense for who her character is and like even when they brought it up i was like i do not care like why that happened it could just be something else like so maybe I, it's just a me thing like push it off it doesn't really matter why he might have made these mistakes right but she's so worried about it so we have to find out about it but then it creates very fun moments of just dynamics between characters like you're sitting there actually involved in the conversation in a way and you're just kind of listening to these people bounce ideas off of each other and try and come up with a conclusion in some sort of way so it makes a lot of sense and it, it really feels good to just kind of observe it the only complaint that i really have about that i mean one being the fact that the mystery was so like uninteresting to begin with uh, the the real issue i guess that i would have would just be the fact that we were in the exact same room same building the entire time basically uh while we did have our moment of switching perspectives and going into chitanda's mind for a little bit using like the the mannequins or the the dummies or whatever it was that was kind of in her brain which i thought was a really cool representation which to me kind of read off more as like she's like reimagining this in her head so she doesn't have all the pieces of like who each person was in each position and doesn't have like their faces truly drawn in but the only like two or three other people that are there besides her and like full detail are people like the teacher or the the two students who stood up and each of them have a different mask on kind of representing their their moods at the time and like who they were as a person right so i thought that was a really interesting and just cool representation for that but for the most part really wish that maybe we we ventured out of the school and got some different scenery changes just because it would have livened things up a little bit more but i think it was really really fun and just kind of a cute way for them to kind of present certain things and enjoyable for that i really don't think there's going to be too much for me to speak on here i'll just go through the episode here and talk a little bit but it's not overly complex of a way that they kind of presented it we spend like the first couple minutes introducing what the entire episode is going to be and then we kind of split that into two sections specifically hearing the other class and the conversation that's going to go on with jatanda later down the line and then we come into the room we just have like a really cute moment where he borrows over here trying to just lose her mind and completely yelling at satoshi i don't even remember or know what she was yelling about or getting angry i don't think it really matter too much uh regardless able to see Chitanda kind of try and act as like a mediator in a way and kind of stop them and it's not really working out she doesn't really understand their approach or take a good enough approach for them to kind of do it and then we start talking about anger a little bit more about not seeing people angry which immediately to me was like oh we're gonna set something up so that we can see everybody angry in different situations which still could be a thing that they do they could have it in their mind oh i haven't seen this person angry or how they act like in this different environment in a way uh, if i put them in like a certain situation so we might try and set people up kind of i think we could go like a really like like everything i think of jatanda really wanted to see like Eureka angry or something i definitely could see us going like a route during uh like kaon when the whole incident happened with moogie with uh trying to get yelled at by somebody or have somebody get angry at her and the whole like strawberry thing it's just somebody who's so like pure and doesn't understand things like i feel like it could really happen in a direction like that which would be really cute but might not end up being a focus at the end of the day but i thought that, that would be an interesting route for them to kind of take on here and then we start talking about things regarding like the sins and kind of and trying to like classify people like involved with each of them and what they would be and trying to talk about how chitanda doesn't really seem to align herself with any of them in a way uh we also have multiple mentions i i said it also throughout the reaction of people saying that chitanda was angry over something but she never came off angry once to me maybe it was just because of her her sweet nature that she has of a person but she doesn't 
come off that way at all. She seems like she might just be interested into figuring something out or asking, like posing questions in a way or telling somebody to like not do something, but she doesn't seem like she ever really got angry. So I don't, I don't really understand, but she kind of starts talking about things regarding like having multiple elements, I guess, of, of sins in a way is really good or having at least a, like one of them is a really good thing to have because if you are somebody who doesn't have pride to begin with or doesn't have greed in any sort of way, it can mean negative things or there could be bad things about it. So having kind of a mix of everything in some sort of way might not necessarily be a bad thing, which I think is a interesting take for her to kind of have on that. And I don't necessarily disagree, but at the same time, don't know if I agree, but her, her kind of talking about not like wanting to figure out more and do things because it's exhausting and she doesn't like, you know, wasting energy or doing any of this stuff. And then her keys immediately looks up and just sees her and this light sees her as like the angel that <laughs> she can be. And is like, oh shit, it's the same person as me. I finally found somebody who I can relate to. It was just fucking funny it's so funny to me that that happened and then she just kind of decided oh no i'm just joking at the end even though everybody was trying to like snap her out and be like you don't want to fall for <laughs> the guy or be like this uh really really funny good moment the mini chaton was appearing which is very creepy but at the same time really cute it's i don't know how to take those and then we get into our second half here where we're trying to really solve the, the mystery here and wanting to understand kind of what occurred in this exact situation. The mystery itself was to basically solve why the teacher made a mistake that he made. Her wanting to understand somebody who never makes mistakes, who always jots things down and understanding, you know, where they left off and whatever the case is, being very prepared as a person would be able to make this mistake, how that could occur. But the actual mystery ends up coming is to why Chitanda herself found herself getting angry in the situation, why she wanted to stick up for these other people, even though she didn't think it was to kind of protect them in any sort of way, but what exactly it was that got her angry. I think that was more so the mystery here, which we don't necessarily get an answer to, but I guess that in itself is the answer to the entire episode that we were trying to get at here, which is Ariki not understanding her feelings or her emotions or even who she is as a person to begin with and starting to at least realize that that you can't really pinpoint things about everybody sometimes if you don't know how they act, if you don't know the type of person they are, if you don't know anything about them really to begin with, it can be kind of difficult to figure that out and him kind of coming to terms with that I think is really, really cool. Like I said before, the the visuals that they kind of use to to showcase these while having everybody in the the room not have any faces or anything except for the two people who have to stand up and the teacher because those are specifically the only ones that she can recall if you take this in like a dreamlike state or like a a reimagined version something in her head but she's full version right full detail of who she actually is as a person because she can imagine herself in the situation while everybody else who's irrelevant in this exact moment become background characters and just get washed out so they become as plain as a mannequin or a dummy in the situation right but all the people who are in charge have some sort of different emotion on their face the teacher very angry because that's what he is in the different masks i wonder do the masks themselves represent something specific or is there some other meaning that maybe you took from this this visual in a way uh, i'd be interested to kind of read what that would be about but more so i think it was going down a similar route to what i said uh and she kind of just explains the whole situation here we start getting some foreshadowing here though with like the him looking through the letters and using the a and everything which is something I wasn't really picking up on, but I think that could also just be because I wasn't really overly interested in actually figuring out his reasons for why he was doing things. I just assumed that it could be a variety of things and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, which we end up finding doesn't. Uh, Jatanda making her move even more and more. <laughs> finding out that she's more and more curious as time keeps going on. Absolutely adorable how she gets so into things like this. How Ariki can keep putting up with like not giving in to her is kind of crazy. I mean, he ends up doing it every time, but putting up with it for so long, I would, I would fold instantly. Just saying. Then we start having more talks, solve the mystery a bit more about, you know, him writing the things down, the different routes they can kind of take. I don't really need to go too much into that. It's pretty straightforward the way that they did it. Ultimately, it just comes out to the fact that he ends up writing the letters in different ways in each class. Some classes are ahead of others and it's as simple as that. It really wasn't <laughs> complex the way that they kind of went about it. And then we start questioning once again, the reasons for why Chitanda was getting angry, because that's more so what she's worried about. Well, the mystery might've been solved. Now she's kind of wondering, or I don't even actually know if she was the one who, who wondered it or if it was Ariki himself, but wondering exactly why she got angry in the situation when it wasn't exactly to do anything that anybody else was kind of saying, or even if it was, maybe she doesn't understand herself at the end of the day. And she's kind of being coming, uh, becoming reliant on him in a way to figure herself out. That could be an interesting way for them to kind of do it. I like the the representations here showing him his gray life, the gray virgin he is and her and kind of the rosy tinted background and 
situation that she's in, kind of what he's looking at, how he views her in a way, the light that is her, uh, how he views himself. I'm assuming this isn't her directly looking at him because she brings so much light to his life or to her own life in a way uh, of not understanding, you know, so I don't think this is a visual directly from her perspective but maybe how he views where he's at and where she views that she's at looking like this the difference that is them but the thing that could be the same and him kind of understanding his pride at the end of the day seems to be the thing getting in his way of trying to think that he's capable of everything and think that he's capable of figuring these things out or understanding people when at the end of the day he really isn't how many different times she did something today that he wasn't expecting or acted in a different way whether it just be a joke that she made or said something that maybe he didn't fully understand at the moment and starting to kind of understand shit maybe i shouldn't think about that too much just really really good moments and i just this is what i like so much about this as i've said with the show the the difference that we can kind of present the two characters together have an entire episode focused around one mystery that is not interesting at all like it really isn't if you found this interesting good for you sorry but it, to me it wasn't <laughs> it just it, it wasn't at all but the thing that is interesting is the dynamics of the characters the characters themselves trying to understand each other are just playing around and having fun it's literally a slice of life with some mystery splashed in right even if the mystery itself isn't interesting it spices things up a little bit as it allows our characters to interact and do things a bit more really good I do wonder now if we're going to head more of a route where over the next few episodes we specifically go Ariki trying to figure out Chitanda a bit more and maybe gain a stronger understanding for her and maybe at that point he'll start understanding some feelings and some things about her a little bit more but at the same time he might not I don't know we also might not go that route anymore either we might directly just go into uh, uncovering a bit more but I feel like he is the more he acts like he is and he also is, or doesn't think that he is he is uncovering more about her the more and more that they go through and figure out these mysteries uh, so it is working at the end of the day by using this as like the thing that really kickstarts everything that's happening between the two so it's working pretty well another note that I just want to make though is the the curiosity of Chitanda I absolutely love because a lot of times People will act like me or Ariki in the situation as well. Uh, but me, I'm saying more so where you present the idea of what this mystery was going to have to be for us or what we needed to figure out. And I'm just like, who cares? It doesn't matter. There's no point for me to overly think about it or do anything. But Chitanda is somebody who takes it upon herself. And she's like, you know what? I'm interested in learning about this. I'm going to make this exciting. I'm going to figure something out, right? Or I'm, I want people to help me. And we're going to talk about this. And she can bring and present things that other people really can't because people will just be like i don't care or why does it matter or not think about it twice but that'll be something that she keens in on focuses very heavy on and i think that's really cool a uh, different way to kind of separate her from other characters and other shows and just different people something distinctive about her and i like that a lot it's gonna be all though for me i don't think that there's too much really impactful or importance to to touch on too much in this episode but please if there really is or if there's things that you really liked or just want to talk about let me know leave any comments down below I'd love to read all of them if you like this episode at all though or the reaction leave a like and subscribe to me and a lot to me feel free to check out the other videos on the channel leave any comments about this episode or series i'll be back for episode seven soon you guys have a good one though see ya